afternoon. I'm happy to be able to share the highlights of my journey regarding mental illness in my family. I was 20 years old when I first realized the dramatic impact of mental illness. My mother would begin a two year battle which would end with her committing suicide in December of 1976. My knowledge was extremely limited at that time with any form of mental illness. Unfortunately, my poor mother would have a terrible two-year battle with very few positive moments. She would be in and out of hospitals and have several shock treatments. I wish I could say that that had a positive change on her condition, but it did not. The loving, giving, sweet mother I knew would never appear again. The loss of a parent at any time is tremendous, but especially to an illness that takes them physically and mentally. The mom I knew and loved died when she got sick. Because this happened during the 70s, I feel it made her recovery less likely. There was little information and discussion about mental illness then. We have grown leaps and bounds since then. However, there's still, we're still not where we need to be. <laughs> the fact that we're having this discussion and acknowledging Mental Health Month is reason for encouragement. Little did I know then that I would go on to have many more encounters with mental illness throughout my life. Fortunately, I met the love of my life a few months before my mom would get sick. Ray was truly my rock and emotional support during this time. It was a true blessing that he had entered my life then. Ray had been through a lot with his own family and was a knowledgeable, caring, and loving person. We would marry and my mother would pass away eight months later. Moving ahead 10 years, mental illness would strike again when Ray was diagnosed with bipolar illness. It was then revealed that Ray's father was also bipolar. He would seek help and begin his own journey, which really ignited my journey as well. I began reaching out for as much information and help as I could find. In my readings, I would come across this statement that has always remained with me. Genetics loads the gun and environment pulls the trigger. Wow, what a profound statement that is. So true when you think about it. We are products of our genetics and environment. We are all loaded guns and at some point our lives are just waiting for the trigger to be pulled. We all go to that line at some point, but sometimes we cannot come back. I would, I would eventually develop anxiety and mild depression and seek professional help. Taking medication and periodically attending counseling has been good for me. Finding as much information as possible regarding mental health has helped. Ray and I have attended support groups, which also led us to find his doctor now, who is an amazing person. NAMI, which is National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, is a tremendous organization and a great resource of information. Knowledge is power, and I feel we all need that to better understand mental illness and the effects. Once you empower yourself with the help and support, it will make the journey much easier. There will be bumps, as we know, life is full of twists and turns. Sometimes big dips or drops, but then we always seem to level back out for a smooth ride for a little while. I am blessed beyond measure with my faith and church family, great friends and immediate family who love and support me. With, the strong, with that strong foundation, I can withstand anything. One of my favorite scriptures is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And my other go-to verse is Romans 8, 38. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, 
nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for allowing me to share that with you.